you know, um, we're going to see some interesting games with uh, the new rules, aren't we? You know, and uh, we're going to see some frustration level from a lot of different coaches at different times. You know, it's just it's an adjustment for everybody. I think the fans, I think the players and the coaches, and I feel sorry for the officials um, being given the directive they've been given. Um, but uh, we've talked enough about that. Uh, the positive for us tonight was obviously the rebounding margin. You know, who were those guys? You know, the same group that got out-rebounded by West Alabama. And, and we're playing the premier rebounding coach in the country. I mean, that's has been his M.O. And, uh, and our guys went back and, and, uh, and rebounded it well. With 28 points in the paint. Vince Hunter... Um, I think you all all see why he was rated the 21st best player in the country. Uh, what a what a fine athlete and an instinctive rebounder. I think what's uh, so encouraging in the difference in, in some of our point totals this early in the year for, versus last year is the offensive rebounding numbers that we've been able to put up. And we really haven't had um, an offensive rebounder since we've been here. And I think Cedric's much improved in that area. Vince Hunter, though, has been a tremendous addition there, and that uh, it's such a frustrating game when you feel like you've got to draw up a play to go get a basket every possession. And uh, what Vince is doing is he's given us multiple possessions uh, on the offensive end with his, his rebounding. Um, I thought McKenzie Moore made um, really a couple of really important plays late. Obviously, the three that he knocked down on a skip from uh, Julian Washburn was an important play, and he had a big dump off. Uh, drove in the lane, dumped off for a layup, which was important. Uh, I thought we played with pretty good poise in a close game for the first time this year, first time we've been in a close game. I thought our, our understanding of where we wanted to get the ball, to shoot the ball during those that stretch to, to try to get fouled was important. Uh, the negatives, I would say, was uh, uh, great focus defensively first half, lack of focus with their driving game in the second half. They literally just lowered their head and drove it and got the ball to the rim. Um, if they didn't, and we helped uh, kick to Barrano and, and number 10 for baskets. Just didn't have quite the same focus. And, uh, and we'll see that again with the Aggies here on Saturday night. That's what they did to us, just drove us. And we, I thought we'd kind of gotten over the hump there, but uh, the last half, uh, you know, I just didn't feel like we finished the game properly. Talk a little bit about uh, Defense, I, I guess. Uh, you feel like you're, I mean, you're pretty good defense since you've been here. Mm -hmm. Feel like you're back to that. Oh yeah, you talking about me individually? Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel we played pretty good defense for a minute. You know, I kind of, we kind of let up at the end of the game. We gave you know what seventy or seventy two points. Yeah. But um, you know, I feel. You know, I'm just starting to adjust to the rules. You know what I mean? Yeah. That the handoff thing is kind of like you know what I mean hard to adjust to. But you know, I'm. I'm pretty happy with the way I play defense. It can always be better, but you know, it's it's a it's a good start. It's a bit tough adjusting to it. Yeah, but I can do it. Yeah. And uh, obviously, rebound has been a point of emphasis mm -hmm. for the last two or three days. So you gotta be happy with that tonight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with our rebound. I'm definitely happy with uh, missing Hunter, 15 rebounds. You know, he's a freshman. Yeah. And, you know, I feel he can do that every game. So you know, I'm very happy to see him do do that. We're gonna do that against the Aggies though. So. Yeah, yeah, I feel we, we played pretty well. You know, we executed pretty good. Um, played pretty solid defense, and you know, like you said, that's a, that's a that's a quality team. They beat us the last two years, so you know, um, I'm just happy we finally beat them. You know, so and we're getting better. I feel it. Yeah, we just past couple of games we've been getting killed on the board, and our main focus right now for every game now is just defense and rebounding. And that's just what I went out there and focused on the most. You get confidence from the flow with the team? Um, yeah, pretty much. I'll just try to go out there and just do my job. And if I'm not really touching the ball, then I'll just try to go get off the offensive board and just try to do my job out there. Of course, you're new to El Paso and new to the New Mexico State rivalry, but you got a shot at payback up real soon. What do, you, what do you think about that game? Oh, yeah, we definitely going to be ready um, on the defensive um, 
point and and the rebounding point because that's what we've been focusing on and I'm ready I'm just ready to play them again and build up more confidence before the um, Bahamas tournament. Last play of the game I think everybody thought y'all were just going to let him go right to the rim what was going through your mind? Uh, Colorado State. Uh, nah, I couldn't let that go down. Um, I couldn't give up an easy bucket.